Now you're going to want to have to go to video to mp3. I'm going to be showing you the full step process. And then on the next part, I'm going to be showing you guys how to properly mix the sample to fit in with the beat. You can go to any video to MP3 site. I prefer this one. So what you're going to do, you're going to click on this bar. Go ahead and paste this section and hit start. Now your sample is being processed. So you can download the video as an mp3 file. You're going to want to download it. Get past this stupid ad. After this down, step two is you're going to want to use a file explorer. In this case, I use ES File Explorer. You're going to want to open it up. Go up here to music. Let it load. As you can see, it's right here. Hold it down for a few seconds. Go to more. You're going to hit move to. Go to your caustic folder. Since this is converted into WAV file format, go to um, samples and move it here. And then go to files on audio evolution, a mobile app you can get from the Play Store. Go to caustic samples. Click this one.
I'm gonna open up Kyle's seat. Now what you wanna do here, go here, add a machine, PTM synthesizer. Click on this green box right here where it says select instrument. Hit the parent, parent, go to samples, and here you'll find sample, hit load. the sample will play. Find whatever beat per minute it goes to. Go to two bars. That's too soon. Let's put it at 150. See what it does. Let's add random notes here. And there you have it. That's how you successfully upload a sample to PCM synthesizers on Caustic 3. I hope this helped because I know a lot of you have been looking for this video tutorial. And uh, I want you all to please leave the next request of a tutorial, a cookup, or a tight beat, or any kind of beat that you want, or any kind of tutorial that you need for Caustic. I want you to put it in the comments below. And thank you for watching.